Hey, today we're going to be looking at a new indicator that I found called the RSI. This is something, if you'll look at the screen here, um, this is actually a study that you can add that will show you any time a stock has been overbought or oversold. And so if you look, you know, right now I've been trading in Chimera and this may not be the greatest example, but you can see there's a few spots right here where, say for instance, this one, it was showing very oversold. When it crosses this horizontal line, um, it will turn to red and it shows that it's in an oversold condition. At the, I'm sorry, an overbought condition when it's on the top. Uh, when it's in this situation, uh, you should generally expect a price drop. Obviously, you have to be paying attention to other indicators. Um, that are going to be supporting that decision um, but these can be very helpful so for instance on this one we saw it was overbought when we look up here the stock price was very high it was well above the moving average and then we had a pretty sharp correction that brought it back down into the standard trading range and so if, you know this is a position that could have easily been shorted um, Let's see, I'm going to pull up, I think Royal Caribbean has been, yeah. So here's one who's actually been in an overbought and oversold position recently. So we see down here in the greens, these are oversold positions. Generally, these are a good entry points to buy your stock. So for instance, if we look at this oversold, um, this is corresponding to this dip that we took right here. So we could have gotten in somewhere around 3307. If we wrote it to the next oversold indicator, that would have run up to, let's see, call it 3485. Could have been very significant. Now, obviously, we don't always catch them, but in this instance, it seems to be pretty consistently being overbought. So anytime you see a hard dip like that, you can usually ride out until the next overbought position. In fact, in this one, if you had held through two cycles, you could have sold the stock out at you know 3566 uh, for you know a three dollar and fifty cent a share gain. Uh, so there are definitely some options. Of course, this was. Uh, intraday so this was not during the trading day stocks tend to have a little bit more volatility actually a lot more volatility during that time um, but even as we move into the current trading day let's take a look and see what's been happening so we see that we've been overbought a couple of times today in this instance it was overbought triggering overbought right here and it did have a small correction And as we come in here, we begin to see that it was overbought again. And again, we saw a correction follow to bring it back towards normal trading. Um, so this can be a really useful tool. The other tool that I like to combine it with is the moving average, simple moving average. Now that's this green line that you see. And what it does is it tracks the last nine periods based upon what screen you're running if you're day trading you're probably running your you know one day one minute charts so you can see in the last nine uh, whether the stock is trending upward or downward and so this can be a very useful tool for you um, so anyway in the next video I'll show you how to get these set up but I wanted to introduce them to you today and uh, hopefully we can uh, improve our trading together